Hello and welcome back to On the Workbench. Today we're taking a look at this Unity UT658B USB multimeter. You can see if you read the package here, this is all in Chinese. Unity is a Chinese company. This is not sponsored by them. Let me be very clear about this. I bought this off Amazon because I wanted a means to be able to test USB electronics. And so there's this one, which is a suffix B. And there's another one that does not have the B suffix, that does not have the USB on a cord. It just has a little pop in and out USB socket. This is USB type A. So it's got a male and a female end. And so what we can do with this is use this to be able to measure uh, amperage and voltage uh, coming via USB. So if you've got small electronics, you want to check a charger, you know, obviously your multimeter won't work for that uh, traditionally. Uh, it's interesting, Klein just came out with a sister version of this uh, pretty recently, so I, but I wasn't able to get my hands on that. I got my hands on this. The price is very good for this. So let's take a look at this and see what we get for how this works. If we look at what we get in the box, we have just this one simple set of instructions here that says the USB tester and then usage and then really small letters is the instructions in English. I think this is supposed to match the ABCD is supposed to replace the Chinese on the outside of the package. It should come as no surprise. I believe this is made in China. I can't actually read the Chinese to verify that. I'm sorry, and there's one more card in here too. Here we go. Here's a certification stamp. Also in Chinese. So if you need to save the certifications, you can save that. I'm going to review this off screen and we'll take a look at how this works. So now with the Samsung adaptive fast charger, this is actually capable of between five and nine volts and between about one and a half to two amps for charging. Plugging that into the outlet and we'll plug this meter and then the back here, this indicates input range three to nine volts. Input amps zero to 3.5 with a capacity of zero to just under 4,000 milliamp hours. Plug that in. So we get the input voltage here, 5.04. We'll take a USB cable, plug that in like that. We've got zero amp draw on that. So one of the things you can do with this is to be able to check if for some reason your cables are having troubles or your devices are having troubles, you can use this to figure out if there's a problem for how much amps is being able to go through a charging cable. Or I've got this battery bank at the end here, this is, should be fully charged. If I plug this into the charging port on this, it lights up green, or it's flashing green, so it's almost fully charged. And we look at this, and this is showing it at 0.48 amps, 5.01 volts. Now, if I pull this off and don't have this plugged into the power, that doesn't show me anything. But on this battery bank, what I can do is I can then plug this into the source end of it. And now this is showing 5.12 volts, which is well within range of what you expect your USB to be. So it puts a small load on it. It's gonna be nominal because there's not much on this or uh, uh, to this device. For example, I've got this cell phone here that's been having some charging issues. And when I plug this in, I can't tell if this is actually charging or not. There's supposed to be an LED light that would come on and tell me it's charging. But is it a bad LED? Is it a bad USB port? I have no idea. And so this is where I'm hopeful that this can tell us something. So we're going to put this in between the USB cable and our charger 
just like that. And then now this is plugged into the cell phone that was having troubles. We can see that this is putting out 5.4 volts, but the draw is zero amps, zero milliamps. It's got kind of a blue hue to it, so you can tell that there's actually no uh, amperage draw coming across. This is putting out five volts. So by comparison, let me take off the broken cell phone and put the Harbor Freight light back on it. All right, there we go. There's the Harbor Freight light back on it. Now let's look at what our meter is saying. This is showing the 5.01 volts and it's drawing 0.39 amps. So if I hit the button, you can see it changes here. You've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you can save up to 10 readings with this. And so I can see exactly how much this is drawing and I know that it actually is charging. Let's take this Braun Harbor Freight Light again. Now one of the things that we know about this Harbor Freight Light, obviously it lights up. You guys have probably seen these before. These are a dime a dozen. And this is powered off an 18650 battery. That is not the standard one that comes with it. I've got a video about that coming soon, but now there's no battery in here. Let's put the lid back on here. And under normal circumstances, if I plug this back into USB, I get a green light with no battery. And indeed I can operate this with no battery powered directly off of the USB. And so now I can look at my meter here and see this is drawing 0.11 amps, 0.12. Now if I change the light output on this light, so we go one low to just a tip light, 0.23, off zero amps, high we're drawing 0.12, And then at the low setting, it's not even really registering on there for how many amps are being drawn. Jump back to high, 0 0.11, 0 0.12. With the green, pull this off. And so this provides you just another little tool to have around your workshop to be able to know if your USB ports are performing correctly. Here we are inside the house and we've got the unity meter plugged into a USB wall outlet. And here we can see this is reading 4.86 volts, zero amps. Obviously there's no draw coming through the other end. And it gives no indication about the polarity of that voltage to indicate that it is wired correctly like you would with a typical wiring uh, tester. One of the other nifty features of this is this little display right here for milliamp hours. So if I press on the square button here for about a second and a half or two, it is zero out. And so we've got zero milliamp hours and we can actually save this uh, with the counter on the right. So this is in slot zero or I guess slot 10, it goes zero through nine. And so now I'm gonna take the other end of this USB cord, which is micro USB and plug this into my cell phone and to go charge it, and so if we let this sit here, we can see what the draw is on the phone, a 0.44 amps at five volts. And we let this sit here, we got one milliamp hour, and then it'll just count up so you know exactly how much charge you're applying to whatever battery is that you're charging. So that can give you some idea of the state of discharge that your battery is in or the amount of energy you've added to a battery just to gauge the battery health uh, over the lifetime of that piece of electronics that you're trying to uh, test and know what the energy consumption is. In this case, it's obviously charging. In other cases, if it's actually a direct usage, such as on a light, you can know what the actual draw is in milliamps. So now just a couple seconds, you have to fill it four milliamp hours. And this is obviously counting up from zero. One of the other things I've been able to verify with this, when this, with this hooked up to the computer, I can actually pass data through this device. So if I just leave this here in the loop on my cell phone, I can still sync my cell phone just fine with my computer. There's no concern about that. Data passes through 
and the computer only sees it just basically as a USB extension cord and doesn't acknowledge any of the electronics inside it. And the phone sees nothing different. And so from either end, it's basically just a pass through USB extension cord that happens to provide us some extra useful features. So hope you found this video useful, interesting on the Unity 65, uh, UT658B. If you're interested in this, I'll put a link below. I'll also put a link below to the Klein Tool USB tester that you also might be interested in that just came out after I got this. I think that might be more widely available now. And I hope you found this video useful and interesting, and have a great day. Bye.